Good day everyone! In this video, we will discuss evaluating functions. Evaluating functions means replacing the variable in the function with the value in the domain and computing for the result. In other words, given a function and a value of x, to evaluate the function, we will just substitute the given value of x to the function and solve for the value of f of x or y. Let us take a look at this example. Solve for f of x equals 2x plus 7 when x is equal to negative 5. To evaluate this function, we just need to substitute negative 5 to the given function. This will give you f of negative 5 equals 2 times negative 5 plus 7. To simplify, we need to follow the GEMDAS rule. GEMDAS stands for groupings, exponent, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. Therefore, for this one, we need to multiply and then add. So, 2 times negative 5 equals negative 10, then copy plus 7. When we simplify this, negative 10 plus 7 will give us negative 3. Therefore, f of negative 5 equals negative 3. Let us have another example. Solve f of x equals 3x squared minus 5x plus 8 when x equals 2. To evaluate this function, we substitute 2 to the x of the given function. And then simplify. That will give us f of 2 equals 3 times 2 squared minus 5 times 2 plus 8. In this equation, we need to evaluate first the exponent. Hence, we will have 3 times 4 minus 5 times 2 plus 8. Then, multiply 3 and 4 and negative 5 and 2. So that will give us 12 minus 10 plus 8. From here, we need to simplify 12 minus 10 plus 8. 12 minus 10 plus 8 will give us 10. Therefore, f of 2 is equal to 10. For the third example, given f of x is equal to square root of 5x minus 1, find f of 2. Since we need to solve for f of 2, it means that we need to substitute 2 to the x of the given function. And that will give us f of 2 is equal to the square root of 5 times 2 minus 1. Multiply first 5 and 2, which will become 10. So we will have square root of 10 minus 1. Simplifying 10 minus 1 will give us 9. So it will become square root of 9. Remember that square root of 9 is equal to 3. Therefore, f of 2 equals 3. For this last example, f of x equals 3x plus 5 all over 2x minus 3. Find f of negative 3. Substitute negative 3 to the function. That is, f of negative 3 equals 3 
times negative 3 plus 5 all over 2 times negative 3 minus 3. Simplify the numerator and the denominator. For the numerator, we have 3 times negative 3 will give us negative 9, then plus 5. For the denominator, we have 2 times negative 3 is negative 6, then minus 3. Simplifying numerator and denominator will give us negative 4 over negative 9. Dividing two negative numbers will result to a positive number. Therefore, the final answer is f of negative 3 equals 4 over 9. As we end this discussion, remember that evaluating function always follow the GEMDAS rule. GEMDAS stands for groupings, exponent, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. I hope that you have understood the lesson. And for the next video, we will discuss operations on functions. Thank you and see you on the next discussion.